All right, let's talk about what's meant by the complement of a graph. The complement of a graph, denoted g sub c, is the graph having the same vertex set as g. But now a pair x, y of distinct vertices forms an edge in the complement if and only if it's not an edge in the graph. So you simply take non-edges and make them into edges, take edges, turn them into non-edges. Very simple idea. So what I have below is the complement of an odd cycle. So if you take an odd cycle of size 7, you would originally have all the edges around the outside. Agreed? So what I've done is take away those edges and put in all the edges through the interior. Okay. Is that clear what I've done? Okay, now you take a minute and see if you can explain to me why that graph is not perfect. Explain to me why, in fact, I'll, I'll give you a hint. Take the whole graph and show that its chromatic number is bigger than its maximum clique size. Not equal, bigger than. Again, try to explain why the chromatic number of that graph is bigger than its maximum clique size. Feel free to talk to anybody that you can reach. It's not a lot of vertices. What's the maximum clique size? Are you sure? I heard three different answers. I heard three. I heard four, and I heard five. I will give you this much. It's at least three. Because I do see some triangles up there. I do see some triangles. For example, three, five, seven is a triangle. Agreed? Three, five, seven? So the maximum clique size is at least three. But is it four? Or is it five? 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 Five, he says. I don't believe you. So that's an NP problem. If you say it's five, you should be able to tell me, you should be able to tell everyone a five clique. Please do so. <laughs> Change your tune. Does anybody want to go for a four click? Yes? Oh, not a four click. Does anybody want to go for a four click? Uh, again, all you have to do is call out the vertices that form that four click. That's your certificate. You don't have to explain how you found that four click. Yes? Uh, hmm. You want to explain to me why there's not a four clique, and, and therefore the maximum clique size is, is only three. OK, I'll give you a shot at it. Go so, ahead. Well, I'm noticing this is kind of like a star pattern. <coughs> and by default, each of the points doesn't extend to all of the points. So like in theory, if like every single line were filled, that would be one entire clique. Yes. Um, the problem here, though, is that um, within each of these cliques, um, if you were to choose like four points that it connects to, each of those four points has to connect to each other as well. And if you follow those specifically to find where they connect with that next point, you'll find it will not happen because um, each of those points at most will connect to all of them except for the two next to each other. I like the last thing you said most of all. The last thing she said was, people connect everybody except their two neighbors. So if you're in a clique, your neighbor on this side 
as well as your neighbor on this side, is not. So let's walk around the cycle, keeping that last sentence in mind. In, out. Maybe in, out. So how can you get four ends going around the circle out of seven if when somebody's in, the neighbor is out on both sides? And obviously, now you can't do that. All right. So the maximum clique size is only three. Now, can you three color that? Can you three color that? Can you find three vertices so that between the three, there are no edges at all? Can you find an independent set of size three? Yes? No? What are the induced sets which are independent? What are the subsets that have no edges? Anything else? Anything else? Okay, let me repeat what she said. She said, any two neighboring vertices, neighboring meaning around the outside of the circle, right? Okay, that's an independent set. Okay, any one vertex all by itself is an independent set. Okay, now there's a question back there. It's just the drawing, but four and seven aren't connected either. Have I told you how much I dislike you? <laughs> yeah. All right. So when it shows up in the notes, four and seven will be connected. They're supposed to, this is supposed to be the complement of a seven cycle. So all the non-edges in the seven cycle turn into a yeah. Thank you for sort of pointing that out. So I'd like to say that I, I throw in these little things just to keep you awake, but no, I, I didn't. Okay, so imagine that there really is an edge drawn between four and seven as is clearly intended because this is supposed to be the complement of a seven cycle. And now her answer is correct, whereas before your answer was correct. Four and seven are not consecutive and in the picture, they're an independent set, but that's not intended. So the only two element independent sets are the ones which occur consecutively around the outside of this drawing. And therefore, there, there are no independent sets of size three. Now we're going to apply pigeonhole. How many colors does it take to color this graph? It takes four, because if you try to color seven vertices with only three colors, what does the pigeonhole principle say? You have to use the same color three times, and you can't do that. Question? Vertices. Here's the way I'm going to color it. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. Now I can get away with four. But, but your, your, your question is still a pretty good one because coloring is hard. It's just easy in this case. And by the way, uh, this construction is actually part of a general construction, which are called wheels. 
in which you imagine your vertices around in a circular arrangement. And then what you do is you say, this guy is going to miss a certain number on this side and a certain number on that side and going to be adjacent to all the others. And you walk around the cycle and you keep that pattern. So in this case, you're not adjacent to one on your right and you're not adjacent to one on your left and you're adjacent to everybody else. So the complement of an odd cycle is just a special case of this general wheel construction. Okay, but anyway, it's not perfect. Agreed? It's not perfect. And, and, and this is completely general. If I take a complement of a nine cycle, the maximum clique size is going to be four, and the chromatic number is going to be five. 